one of the more interesting teams in the NBA right now, I think, are the Golden State Warriors because they have perfectly assembled a team that can compete right now and compete big time for a championship while also having one of the better young cores in the NBA as well, depending on how you view these players. You know, you have Curry, Clay, Wiggins, Draymond, Looney, all veterans who have championship experience, who are going to be up there with the top teams in the West next year. Then in terms of your young players, you have Jordan Poole, Moses Moody, Jonathan Kaminga, James Wiseman. That's a core that teams would love to have. You know, how far off is this core from Cleveland's right now? I don't think it's too far off. You look at this core versus Cleveland's, it's not too far off. And on top of these young and on top of that, these young players, they got they also signed Otto Porter, Bayalitsa, and Juan Toscano Anderson's gonna be on the team next year as well, who's a who's a they call him baby Draymond. The Warriors, when Curry played, were 37 and 26. They had a 50, 59% winning percentage. That's good enough to be the fifth seed in the Western Conference. That's without Kalei. That's without these additions. That's without Autoport. That's without Moody. That's without Kaminga. Next year, getting Clay back, getting a second year of Wiseman, having Moody, having Kaminga, having Otto Porter Jr. This team can be a top three seed in the West, maybe as high as first. That's how good the Warriors can be. I think they are title contenders next year. And even though the Lakers had this splash offseason, the Warriors are still creeping. And in a seven game series, now that's when I lean Warriors. Oh man, I think I think the fact that you mentioned Golden that State. you know that they were thirty seven and twenty six, and they were not with their those were the, the the eight guys that were playing with just the eight available guys. This wasn't their best guy, so there was guys missing time. I do think the Warriors are title contenders, but it really all predicates on Clay. I think Steph is going to come back and be magical again. You know, he's Steph. <laughs> you know what I'm like he's Steph. He's going to be Steph. Good word. I think Draymond's going to still have that defensive impact. You know, he's going to come back. It, I think, you know, Wiseman, we're going to be able to set him in slowly. Kevon Lute is going to have his role. Wiggins is going to come back with a bit of a chip on his So he's showing that he can be really good. You got the young guys. Jordan Poole's coming back. JTA's coming back. Still got Damian Lee. Don't know what they're going to do with Kelly Oubre. But, I mean, he's a free agent. Yeah, so, it, well, he's done, Zell. Um, but I think this team, like you said, I think this team can be a title contender. And just because they can't beat the Lakers, you know, doesn't mean they're not a title contender. Agreed. I think they can still give the Lakers a run for their money. They're Curry definitely single handedly almost beat the Lakers in the play in. I don't know. I remember that game vividly. If it wasn't for I LeBron to hit that nonsense. Why you continuously forget LeBron came back two games before that. Why do you keep forgetting that? No clue. Because I haven't forgotten that Curry was getting double teamed at half court. And we can't forget LeBron still splashed the game winner in Curry's face. I remember that. With I one was eye. so mad. One eye. It was, was luck, though. You know it was luck. Whatever you want to say, one end. It was a great game. It was a great game. It was game. fantastic Great game. game. And no clay. Just wanted to throw that out there. And LeBron two days. No on. no clay. That was no clay. And no Russ. Oh, God. Please put him in the game. Well, that's a net you negative. Have, yeah, please put him in the game. Russ no. is a net negative. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think the Warriors have made the proper adjustments in – for them to be title contenders and be a top team in the West, you know, it just predicates on their big three. You know, can Clay still, as long as Clay is that knockdown shooter that he is, and still a above average defender, do you believe he will be? I think he'll still be the knockdown shooter. Oh, no, I don't I'm talking think defense because that's. I think really he'll be an average defender still. I think he'll still be able to be an average defender. And now that Wiggins has shown the ability to, to play elite defense. I don't think he needs to be elite right away. I think playoff time is when he needs to die. Now it's really time to lock in. But with that type of spacing, Andrew Wiggins showing the ability to hit an open three-pointer. Jordan Poole definitely making that stride. Now Draymond unleashing that playmaking, him being the one realistically, and Steph playing the two. I think this really unlocked the new era for this this, uh, Warriors basketball and this new system. And now Moses Moody, who can hit the three, he can come and play defense. Jonathan Kaminga, who's kind of a high flyer. It's going to be good to integrate these young guys in, but for the most part, I didn't even mention Otto Porter. He's a 3 and D type of guy. You could play him, and he can kind of have that, not the same impact as Andre Iguodala, who they've been talking about bringing him back, but not that same impact, but have a guy who he can hit the three and can play defense at an average level. So that's a good guy to put in that small ball lineup too. And you can run a lineup of Stay, Steph, Clay, Wiggins, Otto, Dre, Dre at the one. Otto's getting more burn off over Kaminga yeah. right off rip. Yeah, 
if they can if they can bring in Finals MVP Gudala, that defense on LeBron in the playoffs how might old, be How old scary. is Andre Gudala? He's like thirty seven. Okay, bro. we're gonna continue. We're gonna think. <laughs> That's the same I mean, as LeBron. Tre- Trevor okay. Ariza. Please, Trevor, please Trevor. understand what you just <laughs> said. It's the same as LeBron. No, it's the same as Trevor Ariza, and that's your guy. I'm not saying that. That's your lockdown. That's your lockdown. That's, that's your that's lockdown right now in the wings. Who? It's the Lakers. That's your lockdown that's on the wing. That's not what I say. You literally said Trey. I said he's a good. He's a solid defender. Is he not gonna get put on your your wings? Is he not, keep it on it. Be honest. Oh, okay. So I, we can do Wiggin, uh, Iggy if you could do Trevor Rita. They in the I same. Know, you're saying LeBron, like he could play. You're saying he could play defense on LeBron. You're he, saying that. I didn't he, say that. He, he oh, that's what you can. said he Wiggins can. played really crack. good defense when they played the Lakers he on LeBron. Did. He definitely did. He played oh, really Wiggins, good defense. Oh, yeah, Wiggins is complete D. But uh, yeah, I do believe the title contenders at the moment, just with the team being constructed the way is the Warriors have definitely made a great. Great adjustment to how they adapted to the new environment without Kevin Durant. Mm-hmm. And they saw Steph last year kind of bug out and still be that guy. So they made the adjustments, and they're definitely a top three, four team in the West. I'm just not ready to call them title contenders until I see Clay out there, and he's, you know, relatively relatively his normal self. If, if he is still the knockdown shooter, which I believe he will be, if he could be... 75% on defense. I feel like that's the most he can get to, in my yep. opinion, off a torn ACL, a torn Achilles, the two worst sports injuries in all of sports, period. He had them both in back-to-back seasons. It would be a lot to expect of him to even reach 85% of what he was on defense. It's going to be in his head. There's no way around. Like, I don't know how he's not going to be able to, to think about that leg on a constant game-to-game basis. If he's moving laterally, he's going to be thinking about it. If someone's trying to drive past him, he's going to be thinking about it. Until I see Clay be Clay, I can't say they're title contenders because we just saw a team without Clay not even make the playoffs. They lost to Memphis. That's some context play. to that. You just going. Of course, they didn't have Clay. What, what else do you want me to say? Uh, Curry too. Curry missed a lot of teams. But with Curry in the lineup, they were thirty-seven and twenty. I'm just talking re- regardless of that fact. I mean, they, they couldn't plays, beat the they, Grizzlies. What? Curry um, played against the Grizzlies. I'm saying if Curry played, they wouldn't have been in that situation. Very true because he had an excellent season. It would have been like six fifth seeds. I'm just talking about what they happened did lose to the Grizzlies because we you know we we yeah. talk. I talk about you know perspective. LeBron didn't play two games. I mean, if Wiggins that, doesn't, LeBron if, played if, like if Draymond doesn't right? throw up a nonsense floater, Wiggins doesn't do a turnaround mid range jump what shot. What was Draymond thinking? That's a good. You should call him and ask him because I don't know. That poor guy really cost all of Golden State right there. Nonetheless, though, they did lose to the Grizzlies. Well, I saw in the sh- I was watching the shop. Okay. F- and for some reason, the shop. I remember. Is, yeah, I know what you're gonna LeBron say. LeBron isn't even on the shop anymore. He hasn't I been know. there in a while. Yeah. Even though they say he produces, it's it. still a good even show. Though I, season one, episode one of the new season, he was there with Jay Z, Bad Bunny. Uh, it was lit. He was there. They had that show has such a weird combination of people. They put just a there. bunch of famous. But I respect people. it because they all bounce off one another. So let's say one. It's talks, so edited, all, though. You can you can tell the conversations are extremely think so? edited. I think it is. But it definitely they definitely do a good job of bouncing off one another like and allowing. They try to make the the conversation a natural feeling, but it's not because it's this barber in the back you pretending to come. It's just a fact. But Draymond Green said that I, I see all these dummies on Twitter saying Draymond, you should shoot more. I say. Wow, I got like Steph. Steph Curry. I'm like, that. That's one of the dumb. best quotes he's ever had. It's, it's dumb to think I shoot. Agreed. No, he, he can't be talking about that moment. He can't <laughs> be. He can't, he can't be. be talking about that moment. He only has to be talking about when it's, let's say, you guys right there and I'm here wide open. That's That has to be what he's talking what are about. What, you going to wait 20 seconds until Steph's I, open? I mean, it's Steph. Yeah, that's true. I get where he's coming from, but at the same time, there's got to be moments. If you're you're in the paint, you can make a layup. You can that's make a, a floor. That's a lot of weight on Steph's shoulders. Greatest, but ever. if he's supposed to be the greatest ever, right? He has to be able to deal with that. Greatest player off topic, seen. but you know why I say that? I say it's unnatural because I, I was watching the Tom Brady one. It was that was also it was Maverick Carter, Tom Brady. There's a bunch of weird people put together. It was Kid Cudi. I was like, where did Kid Cudi come? <laughs> facts, I was like, facts. Why is Kid Cudi here? Like he doesn't. There's that girl in too. I, I forgot her name. Some lady there. No, no, no. Um, I, I was a f- oh Chelsea Handler. Yeah, she was. was she did a good job because her and Tom Brady are cool. But it's just and like, like, but that's why I like the show. It's a different type and of. And then and then the next episode was like Trey Young, Jamel Hill, Maverick Carter. Like it was just a bunch of miss. Like I don't know the person. One time they had Kevin mesh. Loving and Kevin Hart there. I was just like, what the hell? It's a Kevin thing. I was like, what? And then they had Charlemagne. I was like, this uh, is just a weird environment. Yeah. Like, yeah, Bad Bunny can't speak English, and he's like. Yeah, to, 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 oh, yeah, the dude man. was speaking. Yeah, I was just like, bro, that was lit. 
Bro. Nah, but they was like, <laughs> they was looking at him speaking, and it was just like. Interesting. Because he was doing a lot of, sp- <laughs> he was trying to speak Spanglish, where he was trying to say some things in English, but then there's obviously some things that he just feels more comfortable saying in Spanish. That dude spoke very well, though, on, on Bad Bunny's behalf. Nah, he did. He yeah, should. He's a translator. Yeah. You're going to keep going to the Warriors? I mean, one more is don't think they can beat the Lakers? I just don't. I don't think with a 75% clay, they can beat the Warriors right now as currently constructed. I just think that Lakers Why? are too deep. Lakers are too deep. We have more personnel right now where... Well, our personnel is more put together. But like you we, can't stop Anthony Davis. And There's you can't n- stop Steph Curry. Uh, so Draymond has know? shown he could before. You got to stop. Not consistently. But you can't stop Steph ever. You can't, but you can throw a double team on him. Especially, and he still gave you a 30. Okay, and he still lost. And you don't have a Dennis Schroeder who plays. Let's be realistic. He plays better than Dean Westbrook. Okay, he does, but Westbrook's going to keep be Westbrook's going to do what? Motor all game on long. What? It's like, okay, bro, obviously Steph Curry's going to get his. It's not really saying anything. LeBron's going to get his. Who's going to stop LeBron? We're even right now. AD? Oh, God. You're right. Let's, thank you. So let's de- go, let's de- go deeper the down death the pieces. Malik Monk, Kaminga? Carmelo Anthony. <laughs> You're the one. You're the one saying that you won't even start him over Otto Porter. You want to give him minutes over Otto Porter. So I don't know LeBron. Had, LeBron. LeBron has some competition on defense. Uh, Otto Porter, Wiggins, they get Iggy back. Now that's a nightmare. And Kaminga, you throw no sleep. bodies at Steph. Don't sleep. You know the the way to stop Steph is to throw bodies at him. You double team him. and You let everyone else beat you. I'll live with that. Oh Clay, chop. Clay can hit open. Jump okay, shot. Let's drop, see. Let's I was see. he dropping the quarter. A thirty-seven. Oh man. <laughs> no. No. Was that pre twenty six or was that he, after? He was open. So Honestly, he can do that bro, I'm gonna be honest. Defensively, he's gonna take a hit. No duh. But as a shooter, he won't. So one of the key parts of his games, I 100 percent agree with that. No, like he's st- he's clay. He's still you all have he has to, to do cover is sin the corner, of course. But at the same, you put one on him face to face like this, of he'll probably still make around 35 because he's Clay Thompson. No, he'll make 44 percent. On that, maybe, but if he's not being a, a driver of the basketball, which he definitely was able to do so back when he didn't have a torn Achilles or a torn ACL, that's what made him so versatile. Because you really couldn't face guard him, you couldn't, because he was fast enough to still drive to the paint. You're right. We have to see how Clay comes how back. How much faith do you have in AD coming back this year to be he needs, fully that he, guy? He needs to be on the Kawhi treatment, and I gave Kawhi a bunch of shit for it. And oh, and now uh, you want him on the Kawhi he, treatment? Uh, he needs to be. It's simple as that. He needs to be. And I think Russell will allow him to do that. I think we need to see how Clay comes back. But at the same time, I'm a believer in, in modern medicine and recovery and rehabilitation. And I think... And Ke- he doesn't need, like, the way he Kevin, plays. Kevin too. Durant has proven that... Defensively, I don't know. Kevin Durant has proven that, hey, I can have a serious injury and, and still be what I am. And I agree with that, but he didn't have a torn ACL on top of that. And coming back from that torn ACL, didn't have a torn Achilles. I think a torn ACL... In this modern sports atmosphere, in basketball at least, it's Air not course. as it's not as big as an injury though. as it used to be. The way he plays is different. Torn ACL play. used to be a career ending injury. Torn Achilles as well. I think based on Clay's play style, it's not that much of a hindrance. So name a few people that have torn their ACL that have come back successfully outside of Adrian Peterson. Well, most of the I would guys say Derrick Rose came back successfully. Successfully, he never reached what he was. Per thirty six is like. His season with the Timberwolves, I believe, or the Pistons, his per thirty six numbers were similar. Were actually the same as his MVP season. Derrick Rose plays different, but even if you look at his per thirty six numbers now with the Knicks, he averages plus twenty points per game, twenty plus points per game. He's right. He just doesn't play thirty five minutes. He plays twenty six to twenty seven. Isn't that part of what made D Rose D Rose? His athletic ability, but the ACL is obviously going to damage your that's athleticism. What, that's but exactly Clay, what I'm saying. But he's still a great player. You can't say he's the same player. He's but Clay not. isn't predicated on athleticism. His game is predicated on skill and his jump shot. You don't. He can but be defensively. Fine. That's oh still no, we, but we all agree obviously. that defensively he's gonna. But then, but uh, then defensively is uh, defense is always athleticism. You it's think really he's going to be worse than Joe Harris on defense? Absolutely not. I think that's manageable then. But at least Joe Harris. Now, Joe Harris I think he'll be about better than Joe Inglis on defense. I hope so. What do you mean? Joe Inglis is a good defender. He's okay. Like compared to what Clay was before these injuries, it's not. It's a night and day. 